soon this village will be overrun with Goma. Before that happens, we must take action. Prepare to purify the village immediately. Wipe it out. But the village is not under attack yet. That's quaint. But this is what we do. They really want those souls. Damn. Well, 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 here they come. How disgusting. you would like to exterminate them before they reach the village? Hmm? Yeah, actually. I had planned on it. I mean, it only makes more sense to kill them on the way while they're on the way rather than when they actually get in. Reduce Clado damage, you know? Of course, I won't be able to kill everything along the way, but I can certainly try. Oh, this poor giant fish thing. Goodbye! I said goodbye! Woo! Oh shit! They can launch missiles out of themselves? Now that's impressive. <laughs> Greetings, giant fish monster! It is you who will die today, not me! Uh oh, missiles! He's just not dying. I mean, they do have a pretty high impurity level, so... Yeah, it's not like he's... ...some weak shit. of the Karma Fortress's mantra have been consumed. Two hours earlier. Uh-oh. That is everything I witnessed. I see. But... Yes? I... Why do you hesitate? Speak! All these years, I have believed in the cause. But Asura's mantra has proven powerful enough to rival that of our own. That of the Brahmastra. <laughs> After the blast, we lost track of his whereabouts. We do not know when he might attack again. Lord Deus! Lord Deus, I have a report to make. I used the Brahmastra on Asura. Yes, I already know. You're dismissed. But my lord, Yasha tried... Dismiss! Ooh. Damn! Lord Deus... Olga, must I repeat myself a third time? Uh, my lord, forgive me. Uh, 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 uh. 
Yasha? Sir. Power without a purpose is meaningless and worthless. A purpose that is firm can change the impossible to the possible. That is the power of our cause. Yes, sir. <sighs> then you understand what we must do. Well, that was quite entertaining. So dedicated to the cause, so earnest in our fight to save the world. There is nothing more beautiful than fighting for this cause. Sergei, I want you to bring Yasha with you on the next extermination. You know what you must do. Understood. He has merely forgotten the beauty of following orders. <laughs> As you wish. Report! Large mass of Goma confirmed. They are headed for a city in the vicinity of Shinto. Goma contamination imminent. Requesting permission for immediate purification. Ah, oh, purification. How beautiful. Come along now, Yasha. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know if this was like something that happened beforehand or after the events, but there you go. Fucking acclamation. <laughs> Did you see that fucking one just fly off at the distance? Holy shit. Then you just said the giant elephant one going, uh, no, I <laughs> don't. Glad I didn't go that far. Filthy beasts! Huh? Okay, yeah, that was- I wasn't expecting that. Oh boy. I hate fighting these massive fucking gomas like this. Oh, he hurt me! No, stop! I must take out your trunk! Just like Asra has done many times in the past. Ah, oh, but that one went up a lot further. Take this. All right, I'm okay with this fight now. It's going a lot faster. Uh oh. I like Yasha's dodge! Really nice! It's fast, and you keep on doing it. It's like a blink teleportation thing, it's cool. Whoopsie. Yeah, I didn't really have an opportunity to uh, do the finishing move. Uh oh, shit! Damn it! I took two hits. Come on, Elephant Man! Slam that trunk down! Uh huh! Well, I guess taking out a hell of a lot of guys at the same time is a... How it should go? Oh, no! Oh, no! Not 
out the turtle one! Oh, come on, really? Two of them? Do I have to fight them both? Too many of them. Exactly! I was gonna say, we have an entire fleet above us, right? Oh, no! Why are you blowing up the city? You are out of time. They were about to reach the village. Too bad. <gasps> ah, you see how they willingly part with their souls? to please their gods. Before the mortals are devoured by the Goma, we purify their souls and turn them into our power. This is nothing new. It's the same thing you've been doing for the past 12,000 years. You just fought a meaningless battle. <laughs> How ugly. One way or another, we must gather souls for Mantra. For the Brahmastra. The Goma's behavior has been more restive of late. That is to say, Vlitter's return is approaching. <sighs> you remember what our duty is, do you not? Even gods must dirty their hands. That melancholy face of yours truly suits you the most. <laughs> huh? What? Oh, hey, Asura! <laughs> you! <laughs> wow! I guess we'll never get a chance to battle Sergei. And here, Yasha was about to become compliant again, being all like, Yeah, we have to kill the mortals for our goal. And also is like, Hell no! Nah, I ain't having that shit! Ah! I'm interested to see where this goes. Either Yasha will have to bite Asura, or Yasha will just be like, Yo, 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 okay. I'm starting to see your point of view. Also, we haven't heard anything about Mithra in a really long time. What about her? Report of Azra's movements. Search troop Captain Upala's log. This mission is to find traces of Azra's movement. Wait, this mission to find traces of Azra's movement has been proven very challenging. God, I fucking suck at reading this shit. It's black with white outlines, and that's really terrible on a, like a light background. Hmm. 
The blast from the Brahmastra has set, a, set the land ablaze, which still continues erasing any tracks Asura has left behind. Despite this, we carried on with our mission in search of whatever we could find. Fortunately, we were able to find some footprints on a snowfield quite far from Ground Zero. We followed them immediately. After a while in the distance, we discovered one of our fleets in mid-battle with the Impure. That is when it appeared. A scorched, black suit-covered body with the rage glowing in its eyes. By the time we realized it was the Fallen One, the battle had already begun. Watching from afar, neither our fellow soldiers nor the Goma with, were any match for him. Terrified by what was happening before our very eyes, we could do nothing but hide and shiver with fear. After the Fallen One had annihilated them all, he roared out towards the heavens as if he were calling out to someone. After that, I continued to pursue Asura. My men were horrified and ran away, but by that time I did not care. Asura ran onward and encountered more Shinkoku soldiers in Goma, which he ripped to shreds in an instant. Interestingly enough, he had no eyes for his civilian demigods or humans, and left them alone. Civilian demigods? There are civilian demigods? I mean, I guess that's how it works. I I suppose. I, I don't know anything about the universe. I don't know how they got their powers or anything. At the moment, Asura is headed towards the area where Lord Sergei and your Lord Yasha are conducting a purification. What is he? What is he trying to do? The sound of his ferocious cry still rings in my ears. I must know what it all means. Hey, this guy's starting to become a little bit Lost sentient. Lost in rage, Asura rips Sergei in two. His anger is so terrible that it scalds his own body. Having lost all sense and reason, Asura turns to Yasha with fire in his eyes. But who am I gonna have to play as? Yasha or Asura? We're probably gonna play as Yasha one last time.